now our second step is to add 500 microliter 70 percent economy 500 microliter so 500 microliter 70 percent ethanol 500 microliter 70 percent ethanol 500 microliter 70 percent ethanol in column 2 for patient A again take 500 microliter water for patient A in column 3 then dispose it for patient A for patient B number of patient you have to I told you before that you have to take 500 and 500 microliter um, 1 ml for each patient so I already add 1 ml for patient A for patient B I have to take another 500 microliter and put it in second column again I need to take 500 microliter and put it in the third column of patient B then I need to dispose the tip. Then I have to cap the 70% ethanol and put it in the rack. That is the rack. Okay. Now my third step is to put 50 microliter elution buffer. 50, 5050. 50 microliter elution buffer this is the elution buffer I already show you in my previous video 50 microliter elution buffer in sixth column of patient A then dispose it Again, I need to take 50 microliter elution buffer and place it in the sixth column of patient B. Elution buffer is not taken. Now it's time for very risky work. It's to put the VTM sample. Before putting the VTM sample, you have to secure yourself first. You have to cap on. Cap on. You have to wear, wear your face shield. Because you don't know VTM sample is negative or positive. So you have to secure yourself. Now, just safely place the keep the deep oil, safely place the deep oil plate in the other side of the biosafety laminar so that there is no contamination from the VTM sample. Now it's time to put the VTM sample inside the biosafety cabinet. Okay. This is the PTM sample. Here, you don't know that the patient is positive or negative for SARS-CoV-2 or any other viruses. So, this is the 
this is the btm sample of first person so i keep it here this is the btm person of second person i keep it here i am using this two btm sample for test so i do not take any note if you have an 10 15 20 30 40 or 90 number of btm samples so you have to take a pen and paper and write the id number okay in an one single test in an one single uh, deep well plate you have you have able to test 96 btm sample at a time okay so it's time to put the btm sample so i just covered it uh, so during the process i cannot able to talk so i told you before that you have to put 100 microliter btm sample in the first column for patient a and another 100 microliter vtm sample for patient b in the first first column okay in the first column i have put in the vtm sample this is a sample for patient a this is a, and this is the b sample of patient b in the first column respectively okay so i am not able to talk during this procedure so that's why i told you before okay just have a look After putting the after putting the VTM sample in the first column, you have to mix the VTM sample and the T lysis buffer properly near about five times. And after taking the VTM sample in the first column, after completing by putting the VTM sample in the first column you have to sanitize your hand every time then you have to put the uh, sample b for another person then sample c and d e every time you have to sanitize your hand with the help of sanitizer okay
am showing the video towards to you that's why i am not using the face shield but face shield is very must otherwise there is a chance of infection there is a chance of spreading infection towards you okay now it's time for putting the 350 microliter 100% ethanol in the first column where you put the VTM and VTM sample and take this is pub buffer so 100% ethanol 350 microliter 100% ethanol we have to put in the first column of patient A then you have to dispose the tip again tip again take the new tip and 350 microliter of 100% ethanol impression big don't use that tip second time initially when you put the t-lysis buffer you can use the tip single tip but for my suggestion don't use the tip in the first you have to take I'm sorry, I told you before that when you put the T lysis buffer, you can eat, you can use one tip to putting all the sample because there is no contamination of VTM sample there. But after putting the VTM sample, don't use the tip second time. There is, it can be contaminated. So be careful. I put the hundred percent ethanol before putting the hundred percent ethanol. You have to keep the VTM sample and the lysis buffer after masking for five minutes in the room temperature, three to five minutes. Okay. Now I already put the three fifty microliter hundred percent ethanol. Now it's time for put the magnetic bit. So before I put the magnetic bit, you have to. Keep safely the default plate without holding in the middle. Before this is the magnetic bit, I already show you in my previous video. Before putting, you have to shake it with your hand for five to ten times. Then, what do you need to do? You have to take this is the magnetic bit. And this is the vortex mixture this is already turned on so you have to put and press when you press it's automatically shaking i think you are able to see it it's already shaking okay then again put it and you are able to set that it's shaking Now take 20 microliter magnetic bead. And put it in the first column of patient A. then again take 20 microliter magnetic bead and put it in the sec first column of patient B and then discard now initial the first process for RNA extraction is complete you have to get the tip well play for 2-3 two, two, minutes and then let's start the machine RNA extraction machine until and unless you start the RNA extraction machine you are not able to do it so keep the place that it is close the sliding door of the bioseptic cabinet and then you go um, then you have to go to the MISPAM agenda machine whatever the machine you have for RNA extraction you have to switch on the machine for the process okay
stay tuned with us